Alright guys, this is uh, the Ace Charming. Uh, I wanted to explain a little bit. Uh, this will be a rant. Uh, it all started yesterday when, uh, of course, in every classroom you have, you normally, throughout your life, will have that one student that asks the dumbest questions you've ever heard in your entire life. That was uh, yesterday, came to fruition. I about uh, punched the guy in the face. Uh, luckily, I did not. I would have gotten probably in trouble. Uh, but just to give you a little background on this situation, this guy uh, sits in the very front of the class, very middle. Uh, the class is the history of jazz, so it's not even like uh, you need to ask that many questions. Uh, you just kind of want to listen, and the teacher will talk, and you write down some notes. Uh, every time, every class period, we've we've counted. He asks at least seven questions in an hour period that the teacher just answered. This guy will seriously. Uh, the teacher will say something like, "You know, Louis Armstrong uh, was uh, a trumpet player, something so and so." And then this guy, after he finishes his sentence, will raise his hand. Teacher will ask him. And he will literally, with a dead straight look in his face, will ask him, so what instrument did Louis Armstrong play? And I swear, you have so many guys, in our guys and girls, in our class that are sitting behind him, like, so, like, frustrated. Like, we're literally, like, pulling out our hair, and we just want to sh look at the guy and say, shut the up, please. Um, our teacher also, uh, he doesn't single him out, but he does say, you know, our class is a little bit behind the other ones, so we actually don't cover as, uh, the, as much material as the other class. And we're like, it's because this dumbass keeps asking you these stupid questions. Every time he raises his hand, just tell him no. Uh, it has been kind of funny, though, the past couple of weeks. Uh, he, he'll raise his hand, and the teacher will just say, uh, okay, you know, hold on to that thought. In five minutes, if you still have that question, you can raise it. And the guy always forgets. Or in, like, five minutes, he, you know, he he has another question or something that's totally unrelated uh, I've had people say oh you know what he's you know he's just trying to learn and stuff and I'm like yeah but it's a question that the teacher already asked it's called listening you've spent I mean again I'm one semester away from graduating this is a upper division class 300 level you are like a year away from graduating and a teacher says something and you ask the same question. I've been known to do it on occasion, but that's because I'm not paying attention. It's because we have a computer and I'm just not really focusing. This guy has a, a, a tape recorder and he tapes the guy doing it and he still asks these questions. It pisses everyone off. Um, so this comes, this kind of comes to fruition yesterday, right? Because our teacher passed back our tests and for some reason uh, my test didn't scan right, so after class I want to kind of ask him, you know, uh, there's the written part and then the uh, other part, and there were some scribbles on my other part, and I'd ask him if that had anything to do with it, because it was a 71, and I was like, that's not a good grade, and I thought I did better than that. He said, no, that was just someone marking it up, so I was like, oh, cool, but this guy, before I asked that question, um, I, and I've been standing in line for about two minutes after class, the other class is coming in. Um, this other kid's just asking him another question, which, again, really wasn't that important. But the guy never asked a question, so he's doing the same thing I do. And this guy's sitting down, like, putting away his stuff. Takes him, like, ten minutes, five, ten minutes to put, up, put his stuff away because he just throws everything out on, like, a desk and a desk next to him because no one wants to sit next to him. Uh, anyways, I'm sitting there, or I'm standing there about to ask this question. This guy looks at me in the face and says... Oh, can you hold off your question? I, 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 this was a really quick question. And I was, I was, I was beyond pissed at this guy. And luckily, I'm a, I'm a fairly big guy. I'm like 6'2", 6'3", um, about 190. I'm not, the, I'm not the biggest guy, but at least I'm tall. This guy is probably like 5'10". And I just looked at him, and like with this face, and said no. And he's like, he like looked at me like, you're going to say no to me? And I just looked at him and I said, No. I've been standing here for two minutes. I want to get my question in. You can wait. And the guy was like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to." And I was just like, "You know what? You ask a lot of questions. Hold off. There's a lot of other people that want to ask questions and are going to wait till the end of class. I've been standing in line for two minutes. 
you can wait another minute because you were spending all your time putting your stuff away. Okay? And he's just like, oh, you know, he, like he gets all defensive. And I was just, I was livid at this guy. Um, I won't give any details as to, like, the ethnicity of this guy, whether or not he was white, uh, you know, white or anything else. Um, you know, it was a guy, not a female. Uh, you know, again, if it was a woman, I probably wouldn't have blown up at her as much. Uh, I would have just kind of smiled and just kind of let her go and been, been a little bit nicer. But because this was a guy, and because he was just uh, just destroying our knowledge. And the thing is, again, it's the history of jazz, you know. It's, it's a class where the teacher gives us small bits of information, but it's mostly just listening to the music. And I suck at listening. I don't understand anything. I mean, I can kind of understand the, the instruments, but I can't tell, like, the tonality or the timber or the timbre or whatever they want to call it um, about the instruments. I mean, I can't tell that as much. So I kind of want to listen to this stuff. And this guy just keeps asking these questions. And, I mean, this this happens to you all the time. I guarantee you guys have someone in your class that does this. And, I mean, you seriously want to just, just like, just shake him and go, Dude, shut up up you know if you have any questions ask someone else or do this amazing thing that that people have learned and since you're over the age of 20 you should probably have figured out it's called listening um, it's amazing uh, you know if you can't listen to a teacher how in the world are you ever gonna have a relationship with a woman because with a woman you have to listen like you wouldn't believe. And what you need to do with a woman, and it's going to be the same thing with school, is you listen to them and you pick out keywords. When you pick out the keywords at the end of their big long rant, because normally it is a big long rant, you you throw back those those words with them and you add a little bit of something into it. And they go, "He listens to me." And it's like, "Yes, but you what you what you said instead of taking you five minutes to explain to me, you could have explained to me in like 15 seconds. So as a guy, and maybe this is, and actually I get labeled a great listener and I, I don't think I am, but basically if someone's talking to you, you know, and you don't really want to talk to them, but you want to just be courteous, especially if it's a woman, you know, pick out a couple words, you know, throughout their thing, you know, nod your head like you're listening, um, same thing in school. And then just kind of throw back a couple of those keywords at them and just kind of keep the conversation rolling. I mean, and again, a lot of times they do have good stuff to say, but a lot of times they make a uh, one-minute conversation into like five, ten-minute conversation. Uh, again, don't tell them I said this because then then once you say something like this, then they get really pissed. Because um, you're like, you're, you weren't listening to me the whole time? And I'm like, not really. Uh, but I normally don't say that. I normally say, I mean, yeah, I've been listening to you the whole time. Uh, but, you know, the whole smiling and nodding thing normally gets you pretty far. Um, side note, I'll talk about uh, how to handle uh, women and, you know, how to get, you know, them to believe that you're such, like, this you're this super nice guy and that you, you know, you always listen. Um, again, I mean, I always have, like, those little tendencies. But there's little things that you can do that, that, make, that make their day. And I'll probably upload that in another video if you guys want to see that. Um, but back to this guy. I mean, this guy just frustrates me so much uh, and I gave myself a couple days um, I saw him uh, yesterday in the middle of the day I was gonna make a video when I came home but I got distracted because I had something called school but uh, bef but I just thought I would give you guys just my little frustration towards this guy and oh I wanted to punch him and I can't tell you how good it felt to bully this kid a little bit um, and I call him a kid even though he's probably my age but he's just not mature at all and does not know how to handle himself Okay, getting a little uh, getting a little agitated about this, but I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Uh, let me know, especially if you guys are in college, or if you ever remember like this one kid in your class. I don't think I'll ever forget this stupid little kid, because he always asks the stupid questions that he should just keep his mouth shut. Um, but anyways, you guys have a good day. This has been uh, The Ace Charming. I'll see y'all later. Over and out.